On November 1st, the U.S. yield curve, measured by two-year versus 10-year, printed an almost 14-month high of negative 15 base points. Now, at the time, several things seemed to be working to steepen the curve. The first was a belief that the Fed was fully committed to keeping rates higher for longer in order to fight inflation, and that there was a minimal risk of a hard landing. The second was that there was a growing concern over increasing Treasury issuance, potentially pushing long-duration bond prices lower. So in the subsequent weeks, the narrative has flipped. Now, a lower-than-expected CPI report on November 14th convinced the markets that the Fed hiking cycle was over and that perhaps rate eases will come earlier than previously anticipated. Now, a second major factor, though, was a minor direction change by the U.S. Treasury, wherein they've decided to concentrate future sales slightly more in shorter-dated bonds where they believe demand is greater. Now, the confluence of factors pushed the yield curve into further inversion, trading at negative 49 basis points on November 27th. But now the curve is headed back higher, trading negative 35 on November 30th. It feels like the focus has changed in recent days to some deteriorating economic data that suggests that the first ease may come as early as spring, and now the futures curve has a probability of over 100 basis points of short-end eases by the end of 2024. This according to the CME FedWatch tool. Now, if a trader believes that the yield curve will continue to steepen from here, they can express that by buying the December micro two-year versus 10-year yield spread contract at negative 39 and target a move back to the November highs of negative 15. Now, a stop for this trade could be placed below at negative 55. This trade could make $240 if the target is reached and risks $160 if you're stopped at your level. Now, a reminder that this contract gives you two separate positions, one in the micro two-year yield contract and one in the micro 10-year yield contract. So you have the option to manage those positions manually separately. Now, if a trader believes that the yield curve will fall into deeper inversion from here, they could sell that December micro two-year versus 10-year yield contract at negative 39 and target a move to the September low of negative 70. Now, a stop for this trade could be placed above at negative 19. Now, this trade could make $310 if the target is reached and risks $200 if you're stopped out of your level.